Here's a question about protein synthesis, a very technical question. So it says, during protein synthesis, is it A, the A site binds the incoming transfer RNA, tRNA, B, the A site binds the codon on the messenger RNA, C, the E site holds the tRNA with the growing polypeptide, or P, or D rather, the P site holds the tRNA without amino acid. So we know that during protein synthesis, what we have is the translation of messenger RNA into a string of amino acids, also called, of course, a peptide, polypeptide protein. So let's take a look at the key players. This is taking place um, on the ribosome in the cytoplasm. Here's a small subunit of the ribosome. Then in the lighter green, we have the large subunit. We have the messenger RNA shown here. Messenger RNA exists um, in codons, or it's red in codons, so three um, nucleotides per codon shown here. Located on the tRNA, these transfer RNA molecules, would be the anticodon. Notice the anticodon has to match up with the codon on the messenger RNA. The transfer RNA carries amino acids, right? So at the bottom, they have the, uh, what would you say? They have the anticodons that bind codons, and then at the top, as you can see here, they carry individual amino acids. Amino acids together form proteins. All right, so those are the key players. tRNA with amino acid and anticodon. tRNA um, here. Then we also have the peptides and amino acids themselves, and let's see how this works. So we have an A site, a P site, and I'm not labeled here, but there's an E site. And so notice what's happening. An incoming tRNA is going towards the A site. Then you notice um, after you, so we're here at the A site, and this is where it can get a little bit tricky, okay? So ribosomes move actually towards the three prime end, and it's shown here, okay, the A site, the A site actually binds to the incoming tRNA, okay, because the incoming tRNA, as you can see here and here, it has to match up with the messenger RNA, so it binds it. All right, so that's correct. And that's actually that's the correct response to our question. Now, adjacent to the A site, as you can see, is the P site, and the P site actually holds the growing polypeptide chain. So you can see here we have an A site and then the P site. Now how this works actually is that you're going to have a bond formed between this one and this one, okay, this growing polypeptide chain that's over here, and then it's actually attached here, then the peptide is released and the P site actually moves on to the E site and then, you know, I like to say E is for empty, <laughs> so E is for empty, so E, the E site actually um, moves, we say translocation, that's the correct word, but I don't want to confuse with any more trans words because this is translation, but we say that translocation occurs and that moves the TRA that was in the P site that has lost its amino acid that went, you know, to the left, to the E site, okay, and the tRNA that was in the A site, now the charged polypeptide is moved to the P site, so you have a shift. So this guy gives up its um, peptide, which is here, and to A site, and A site then moves down to P, and of course P now goes to E which is empty and that's it so it's a continual process but the key is that incoming um, transfer RNA molecules go to the A site growing polypeptides are found on the P site okay and then the E site is where you will observe um, you will observe empty okay it holds the tRNA without any amino acid so if we go back now to our question, we can hammer it home, um, we have options, Oops, absolutely, it says the A site binds incoming tRNA, yes, and that tRNA will bind the mRNA, the A site binds the codon, no, the A site is located um, where you have, of course, incoming RNA, as I mentioned, E site holds the tRNA with growing polypeptide, no, that's the P site, D, the P site holds the tRNA without its amino acid, no, that's the E, E for empty. So these two should be reversed, okay? But the A site binds the incoming tRNA, okay? So the A site, as I showed you, bind the tRNA. So remember, it's A, P, E. A for incoming, P for growing, E for empty. That's what I say. It no longer has any um, amino acids or tRNA bounds, bound. So during protein synthesis, the A site binds the incoming transfer or tRNA, and that is the correct response.